I just got back from New York last night. I got in at like 12 p.m. or a.m. Oh, it's cold. I was so exhausted. I am still pretty exhausted. I feel very jet lagged. New York being three hours ahead of LA is like, it feels so huge when you're living it. Cause right now it is 9.30 in LA, but it's 12.30 in New York so in New York ideally you'd be like out and about and right now I feel like how the hell how the hell I honestly I feel like I need a deep cleanse completely from my physical body from my mind from my spirit in my space it's kind of a tradition that I've adopted from a friend of mine to just sage myself after I come home from like a long trip or if I've had like a really stressful day I like to sage my apartment it's hard to do that when I still feel like everything is everywhere so I'm gonna clean my apartment first and then we're gonna do that listening to some jazz which I think is New York definitely getting to me I'm definitely gonna have to go do laundry today which Honestly, I don't really mind. I kind of like doing laundry because I just go to the laundromat, hang out for an hour, and decompress while I clean my shit. It's a Virgo's favorite pastime. <laughs> I'm gonna continue to clean and cleanse. Hopefully this goes quicker than it usually does. Act like you like me on camera.
then I've been watercoloring on my free time and I absolutely love it. Right now, I am painting this herb. I'm trying to paint herbs that I currently have. So in the last video, I told you guys that I was trying out different coffee alternatives. I'm also trying different herbs that like might help different areas of my life. For example, I mean, this is become kind of a popular one blue butterfly it's a flower and when dried it can be enjoyed through a tea form and it's really good for like your skin it also just looks beautiful and it tastes kind of um like a creamy effect that's not really a good <laughs> example it's antioxidant and anti-inflammatory it's like a brain boost it can improve eyesight reproductive health improvements in hair and skin health it's just overall like a really good tea to have in your world my good friend andrea introduced it to me last year and i recently just stocked up and it's just so good I'm trying to paint the herb itself. I've never like professionally painted or learned the the basics. I mean, I guess I know how to mix my colors, but <laughs> I really like these watercolors that I just bought. They kind of come off more acrylic-like and you can really mess with the opacity and the texture. I really like that. I just finished I mean, you guys saw, I did a lot of deep cleaning, which was really fun. <laughs> fun. <laughs> it was really good to do because now I just feel so much calmer and nicer and just at ease. And then I finally took a shower and washed off like the travel smell and all of that. And also the cleaning smell, oh my gosh. I realized I was so hungry. I hadn't really eaten a proper breakfast and I haven't really eaten a proper meal in the last three days, I feel like. I've just been eating pizza and I don't know, small things here and there. So I just ordered some Thai food and um, I'm just watching some TV. Watercoloring is the only thing I can do right now because I legitimately like don't have the energy. I don't have the will to do anything else right now until I feed myself, until I eat. Ooh, maybe I can do like um yeah. Okay, I don't know. I just had a weird idea, so I'm going to try I went grocery shopping earlier and I got the Cravel. Cravel? What? I got, <laughs> I got the pickle craving. <gasps> this is spicy. Yikes. Baby, don't read. <laughs> Where did I skip that? Oh. Well, we in for a ride. I was watching a video earlier where people were trying pregnancy cravings not pregnant not pregnant and they ate a bunch of pickles and i was like i can always eat a pickle not a huge fan of the spicy like i'd rather add my own spice to be honest but it'll do It'll do. Now I pass on the pickle craving to you. 
you're welcome. <laughs> I apologize. It's a thing, it's like, it doesn't ever go away. And it like, it eats away at you. It's like hot Cheetos, you know, you just gotta have them once you have the craving. And honestly, just traveling, like, I've had such a sensitive appetite. The Thai food I ate earlier was so bomb, but it just made me like, really slumpy and kind of bloated. And I was like, oh, maybe that wasn't the best idea. I gotta be healthier. Yeah. Really cool, huh? Really freaking cool. I was gonna go to Target and go on a walk and like film that. And then I couldn't find my camera charger for one of my cameras. I think I wasted like 30 minutes. It doesn't sound that long. I felt like that TikTok sound. I was like, where is it? Where the is it? Psychotic. I was legit like getting upset, about to cry. I like felt my chin quivering and I was like, girl, you're really about to cry for a battery charger? Get a grip. Even though I have literally like 10 other cameras. Oh my God. Moral of the story, stop trying to control everything. Like it's not gonna happen the way you want it to every time. And you're gonna have to pivot. You're gonna have to figure it out. So many times do I let that little inconvenience fully derail me from my goals or my, my groove. And then I let it like fully burn down. Basically, I found my battery. I found my battery. And I fucking knew it was in the fucking box. I knew it. Now, I don't even want to go on a walk. Now, I'm eating pickles. Talking to you. Which isn't a bad thing. It's just like, this is not what I planned. This is what life is about. It's pretty fun this way. Um, can we order him this weekend when I come over? Yeah, surprise! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, no, actually, I was gonna ask you, what are you doing this, what are you guys doing this weekend? Thank mm -hmm. you. 